the Medical Science Award supported by the Waikato Clinical School. My research is mainly into atrial fibrillation and um, the mechanisms of atrial fibrillation. Um, during my PhD, I looked at, in quite some detail, during invasive electrophysiology studies, at the atria of patients who had atrial fibrillation and compared them to a control group who didn't have atrial fibrillation. Um, and, and we got some interesting research uh, well published out of that. But since um, I've now been doing more clinical work, my interest is, has gone to uh, clinical trials, really. So we're looking at ways that we can treat atrial fibrillation more effectively. Um, and it's a difficult disease to treat in many ways, and it's quite common and I think important. So um, a couple of ways we've been doing that. One is with a, an ablation trial. I perform ablation for atrial fibrillation. And it's a little uncertain about what's the best way to go about ablating atrial fibrillation. So I'm participating in a multinational trial run out of Australia. Um, and away from the ablation side of things, we're also looking at pharmaceuticals. And so there are some new pharmaceuticals that were quite promising for atrial fibrillation. And um, initial trials have been very good. And I was invited to be on the International Steering Committee of the PALACE trial. And although the PALACE trial didn't give us the result that we'd hoped it would show, we did manage to get it published into the New England Journal of Medicine. And to be a co-author on a New England paper was really quite um, surprising for me and very, uh, very pleased to be on it. And the whole experience about being in this large multinational trial was one that I learned quite a lot from. So my job, as well as doing general cardiology, is electrophysiology. So electrophysiology is um, about arrhythmias or rhythm disturbances of the heart. So while many of my colleagues look at the blood supply to the heart through the coronary arteries and they get termed the plumbers, if you like, I'm more of the electrician. So I um, look at um, electrical circuits in the heart and most people have, you know, the usual uh, circuits through the heart, but it's interesting that many people are born with extra, extra electrical pathways and these can cause a problem later in life. Um, although some of my patients are quite young, I also look at people who are at risk of sudden cardiac death from arrhythmia disturbances and um, implant pacemakers and uh, defibrillators. And that can be quite satisfying because, you know, sometimes these people are very debilitated by their um, heart rhythm disturbance and you can sometimes turn them around and, uh, you know, help them live longer and better quality lives because of the interventions that we do. So away from the research side of things, um, also doing uh, work um, for uh, on the cardiovascular advisory board for Pharmac and um, because I'm a electrophysiologist I pro sort of provide the information that people need about arrhythmias and new arrhythmia treatments and some of these new drugs that we're trialing are now coming to market and um, are released in some countries and with the sort of restrictions that Pharmac put around us it's nice to be able to contribute and uh, recommend what of these uh, medications is important to be available to the public and which of them are not so important and um, they ultimately take the financial decisions, but as a clinician, we advise them on what are the best drugs in terms of priority.